If you're collecting information for an application from your website, there's a good chance that you have a pretty standard set of questions that you need to go through. Maybe your questions are a little bit different here and there, but the overall structure is generally the same and we see this over and over with our clients. You've got questions about the person filling out the application. Very often you have questions about the organization that they represent. And then you're maybe also asking questions about a specific project, which is the reason for them reaching out in the first place. These are three different data sets, but you're collecting all this information in one form. Is it possible to automate this whole process inside of SmartSuite? Well, happily, I can report that yes, it is possible, and that's exactly what we're breaking down in this video. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth. I'm the owner here at Gap Consulting, and it's our mission to help you to get organized and automated with no-code tools. One of our favorite no-code tools is SmartSuite. That's exactly what we're gonna be using to build our database out today. And I'm also gonna be using one of my favorite form tools called Fillout. This is available on a free plan, and you can go ahead and follow along in both SmartSuite and Fillout. If you don't already have accounts going, go ahead and grab free trials using our links below. And in addition, if you are using our link when you sign up for your SmartSuite account, then you can also apply for some exclusive SmartSuite swag. I'm talking about hats, shirts, stickers, all kinds of good stuff if you upgrade to a paid plan. So be sure to use our link so that you can take advantage of those rewards in the future. But without further ado, let's hop on into my screen and we're gonna go line by line here, putting this together. Now first, I wanna start with our form that I've built in Fillout. So let's flip on into Fillout and take a look. Now pretty much any form that's gonna follow this process is going to have information that's collected about very specific topics as I already outlined. We're usually looking at bringing in information about contacts, about an organization, and then about a specific project, which is the whole reason that someone is reaching out in the first place. Now your first question might be, Gareth, SmartSuite has forms. Why aren't you building it inside of smart suite and the answer my friend is because a smart suite form will create a new record in one application but we're already talking about three different data sets here and that's exactly why we're going to want to leverage a more robust form software that way we can put together all these questions in one form and then parse out the data accordingly and link it appropriately through our automation let's go First page is just a standard get started here. So it's just a button to take us to the next one. You can definitely skip this page if you find this not useful. Now on our first actual page of the form, we're asking about contact information. Let us know about you, the person filling out the form. Specifically here, I'm going for first name, last name, and email address. So these are different components that you can bring in on any fill out form. And do note that there is some data validation here. So if I fill out an invalid email address, I cannot proceed to the next step because this is a required field in our form. Now on the next page, we're gonna see the information about the organization. Another nice thing about fill out is that I can reference things that have happened on previous pages of my form. In this case, I wanna bring in their first name. They already told me who they are, so on the next page I'm gonna say, hey, thanks, person's name. Now, help me by filling out some information about your organization. Here's where we're asking data about their company. So what's the name of the company, what's the URL, and maybe a brief business description. Now on the fourth page, we're gonna get into questions about that third data set. Here's where we're saying, hey, cool, you're almost done, but give us some information about your project. So here we're saying, give us some details and maybe tell us what software you're gonna use for this project. Now, how can we take this information, capture it when they submit this form and put it into SmartSuite? We've gotta build the structure first in SmartSuite. It's gonna to come together really quickly. So I'm gonna go into SmartSuite and add a new solution here and start from scratch. Now, every application that I build after naming this, so I'll just call this data collection example, 
I'm gonna build three different applications, one for each data set, then I have to get these applications talking, and then I need to map my automation to capture the information that's submitted in the form. So let's go. First, I'm gonna rename this one. This is going to be contacts. Second one is gonna be organizations or accounts. And the third and final one will be projects for our example. So now that I have my data sets or applications built out in SmartSuite, I need to move on to the next step where I'm going to get them connected and talking. Before I move to that though, I do want to remove some of these fields from my view. These are the default fields that come in when I create a new application. And so I'm just gonna clear these out. I don't need to see them right now. I'm gonna do that for all three of my different applications by going to the application, going to fields to display and clearing all. I'm not deleting these fields, I'm just removing them from view so that I can build in an unobstructed environment. Here we go, last one. Now, what do I wanna bring in for my contacts? Well, to start, I'm gonna have a first name and a last name. Do note that SmartSuite has a full name field, but I'm gonna skip using it here because sometimes it's a little tricky to use it with third-party automation. And so I'm going to just skip that and just go right into the text. I will use a small text here. This will be first name. And I will add this field. And once that's done, I will duplicate it and rename it to last name. And then lastly, I will add an email field here. Now that I'm happy with the setup of my contacts, I can link them to organizations because of course, a contact is filling out an application on behalf of an organization. So there needs to be a linked relationship here. So let's go ahead and add the field. This will take us to link. And I'm gonna link this to not my contacts, but instead my organizations Note that these are all of the applications in this particular solution. So I'm linking applications within the same solution. Let's go ahead and link that up and add the field. And of course, a contact could fill out applications on behalf of multiple organizations. So we will allow them to link to multiple organizations. So last piece here is going to be updating the title. I will auto-generate the title of every record and I will be bringing in the first and last name. Let's bring in first name, space, and then bring in last name, update this field. So now as sample data, if I were in here, this would be my information. And, but this title will be automatically generated now that we have the first and last name. And we're gonna see that reflected right here. Now, if again, I were the person here, I would now want to link to my organization, but we haven't filled out that data. So let's get to work. Here we are inside of organizations. I'm gonna bring in the name of an organization which will be uh, captured in a text field. So let's make this the name of org. And then I will also include the URL field type here or link which allows people to just put in URLs. And this is where we will get the website information or the website link. Let's add that field. And I think I might be leaving one out. So I'm gonna flip back into fill out. I'm gonna go back to my third page here, a description of the business. This will be a long text field. So let's go ahead with a long text, text area. And we will say business description. And we will add this field. Now, similarly, we could have just made the name of the organization, the title here, that would have worked. In our example though, I'm just gonna auto-generate this again and point it towards that field that we have name of org. So this is gonna be redundant. I'm gonna capture the data here in name of org and then this will fill out. So if I were to use myself as an example, I would be filling this out on behalf of Gap Consulting. Give SmartSuite a moment to think. You're gonna notice that title get auto-filled. Now, we also have the website link and a business description. We build cool stuff in no code. Okay, so we have the basic pieces already filled out now. Now we need to fill out the last application in projects. Let's go back to fill out, refresh our memories of what we were capturing here. Just two questions, details of the project, and then what software. So back in SmartSuite now, we'll go ahead and add a field here. We will use another text area, and this can be details. 
I'm using a text area because it was a large block that we were asking for. And so it's like a free flow prompt. So they could fill out multiple lines of a description. And then lastly, we're going to add the multi select here. So my multiple select will allow us to pick multiple different software. So if we were to look at our examples, we have fill out smart suite, make and Zapier. Let's add them here. And I'll try to make these colors a little bit closer to what you might expect from these brands. I think make is a good purple and Zapier is an orange. So we'll go with that and we'll add the field. All right. So last missing piece here is going to be an actual name for the project, which I don't have. So I'll have to come in later and fill this out, but I'm going to disallow the requirement here that there has to be an entry. That way we can have some blank records while we fill this all out. And then the last missing piece is to link organizations over to projects. So let's build that link here and we can link it up with a linked record to my projects. Let's actually rename this and we have to select the proper app here in the list. And of course, an organization might have multiple projects filled out at any point in time. So we will allow multiple records. We will create that link. And one more piece we need to do is bring in the link to contacts. Note that when I add a linked relationship from contacts to organizations, the other side of that relationship, the other side of that link is also created here inside my organizations. So if A is linked to B, B is also linked to A. Doesn't matter where we establish the linked connection, it has to go two ways. So here I can link the organization to the contact and there it is. If I go back into my contacts, I'm gonna now see the contact linked to the organization. Similarly, we need to do that for projects. So let's bring in the link to organizations because we linked orgs to projects. So now of course the reciprocal or the other side of that link is true here and we need to bring it in. Now we have all the pieces all in one place. Let's get to work on an automation. Now I'm gonna flip into make so that I can start building my automation. But before I do that, first I need to make sure that I've granted access from make in order to access fill out. They are currently in beta testing of their automation. So in order to get this access, I have to go back into fill out into my form that I've built, go over to integrations and be sure to go down to my API here and integrate with make. You're going to go through a couple of different steps to get this all set up. It's really simple to do just point and click and grant access from your make account and install fill out there. Normally you won't have to go through these steps, but because it's currently in beta testing, you still have to go and get invited. Now that I'm ready to build an automation inside of make, I can go into make, open up a new scenario and get to work. I start by setting up my fill out here. You're going to see that we've been invited. So we can go ahead and accept that and say, watch new responses. And now we have to create a web hook. We will go ahead and create a connection here and we will set up our OAuth connection. Let's save it. And in a new window, it's gonna open up with some information about getting this all authorized. And then we have to simply authorize the connection in order for all of this to work. You can see it's pretty simple and straightforward. They walk us through the different steps. Now it's time for me to choose the form. I don't even remember what this is called, so I better go back and look. I've called this custom development application one. So, okay, that's what we will go with find the form here right here at the top and I will accept that and save it. So now when a new form is submitted, it will initiate our automation and it's time for us then to build the automation that is going to put this data into our smart suite account. So let's go ahead one step at a time. The first part is going to be to search smart suite. Now in the interest of time, I'm not going to build every literal step of this automation, but I instead will walk through and discuss what it will look like in a finished end result. Essentially what we need to do is for each page of information that was presented to us in the form, starting with the contact information, we need to take this data, these three questions, first, last, and email address, and add a new record to our smart suite contacts. Just as we've filled out this information here, we would have the automation do that. However, there is a small caveat. 
In some instances, we might already have this contact in our database, so we don't want to create a new one. So this means that our automation has to be a little bit more complicated. What we want to do instead of automatically creating a new record is to first search for a record. And the best way to search for a record is to use something that will never have a duplication. In this case, email is always unique. So if we first perform a search and we look for records inside of our account, first we're going to look and say, can you find a record that has the email address that's been filled out in our form? If the answer is yes, then we don't need to create a new record. We already have that record. We already have that contact in our database in SmartSuite. So instead, we'll just move on to the next step. We have the contact already. But if we do not find a matching record with that email address, well then we have to create a new contact. So either way, we're gonna take an action after a search. We're either gonna move on to the next step or we're gonna create a record. Now that we have a record either identified or created, our next step in our automation will be to do the same thing in our organizations. Let's look and see, do we already have a record for this organization? And the best way to do that with a unique key to search by would be a website link. So is there already an organization with this website link in our data set? Well, if yes, then we already know we don't have to create a new one. If not, then we have to create a new one. And then we'll move on to the third and final part of our automation, which will be where we create the new project. In this case, we don't have to search for the project already. We know when this automation is going through because somebody just filled out this form for a new project. Well, we know as a matter of fact that we will always be creating a new project because that is the purpose of the form. And so then we will in our final part here, create a new project. And the most important part here is linking all of these records together so that if I were to fill out my own form, I might say something like uh, key details here. And then for my different requirements here, it might be fill out smart suite and make, and then I would need to see the link to that organization. So by building this automation, we are now going to be able to capture all three of these pieces of information and properly link them accordingly throughout our smart suite design. And this is the whole purpose of no code tools because now I have all my information in one place talking to itself. And because of my proper data linking, when I look at this application for this project, I can drill into the organization by clicking in and I see the organization information right here. And I can go a layer deeper by looking at the links to contacts and clicking into this. This is the whole point of building a robust solution in Smart Suite. So be sure to take advantage of that amazing linked record capability. I know I went pretty fast in this video. There's a lot to cover and we might have left some questions unanswered in terms of how to actually build the automation. So do drop any questions you have below. And in the meantime, keep on building.